Hello, the title of this course as you already know by now when you came here is variational methods in mechanics and design. This is a little different from what you, you might find in some textbooks or courses elsewhere. Normally variational methods are very common in engineering and physics, but mostly in engineering uh, we use them a lot in mechanics whether it is solid mechanics or fluid mechanics or in other places wherever there are differential equations. Whether there are partial differential equations, ordinary differential equations, you can use variational methods. It is a mathematical tool or mathematical technique. In this course, we are going to see its focus in mechanics as well as design that is the difference. The best book that I would recommend uh, for you to get acquainted with variational methods is one by Cornelius Langjos whose uh, title is variational principles in mechanics. These are the general techniques which you can solve a number of problems in engineering. Uh, but now in this course in addition to covering mechanics we also take this uh, approach of doing design with variational methods in particular what uh, could be done in structural optimization. Okay. So, this is variational methods in mechanics as well as design. The crucial mathematical tool that you need to apply variational methods is calculus of variations. Calculus of variations is different from normal calculus that uh, you first got exposed in your plus 1 and plus 2 or, and uh, gotten a big start in your uh, professional curriculum either in PSC or uh, engineering. You learn normal calculus in one variable, several variables are what we call multivariable calculus. Calculus of variations is different from that. Here you deal with functions that are unknowns. That means that in normal calculus if you want to minimize a function you would simply have a function of several variables and you want to minimize respect to those variables which we call finite variable optimization where a calculus of variations the unknown is the function itself the continuous function. As a result when you use variational methods you get what are called functionals and from functionals you get differential equations along with that you also get boundary conditions which is the nice thing about variational methods where you have to use uh, functionals which are the scalars which are usually the integral form but do not be exactly that it, there can be more general definition we will learn here. So, what you use are so called energy methods everybody knows Newton's second law with that you can solve dynamics problems, but there is an alternative which is in the variational methods which is Hamilton's principle. Similarly, in statics you balance forces to get static equilibrium, but if you use principle of minimum potential energy again energy method which is a variational method. Okay. So, we can have firm basis in physics in terms of energy based principles in order to derive differential equations as well as the boundary conditions. That is why we actually sometimes when you are just given a differential equation okay, as a starting point you can still use variational methods even if there is no physical basis for it by going backwards. If you go through the course you will understand what I mean by backwards to arrive at the physical principle or on the way midway I would say you also get what is called the weak form. That weak form is what people refer to as variational method. There is something called a variation which is a little perturbation of the function. You have a differential equation you want to find a solution, but you know to find a solution you perturb that a little bit like we will perturb the string of a musical instrument that is a variation that gives you this variational method. It is a very powerful tool you can use it in most fields in engineering and physics and chemistry as well, but our focus will be on engineering with mechanics as well as design by that I mean structural optimization. How do you design a, a structure, a bridge, a building or a simple bracket that will be there in a machine you can get optimum uh, shape or we also consider topology a little bit to mention how calculus of variations framework enables you to arrive at optimal topology, optimal shape and optimal size parameters everything as a calculus of variation problem or variational methods. So, this course will give you enough uh, exposure to calculus of variations with and without constraints 
and among the constraints also various types of constraints and lot of other intricacies uh, that are then calculus of variations. By knowing calculus of variations which will be much of this course, we will be able to solve a number of problems in mechanics as well as structural optimization. Okay. Thank you.